postcards for this month's Patreon reward. I, I waited to open them with you. So Hello, so it's Saturday, it's the 18th of September and yesterday I came back from, from a vacation. We stayed two weeks in, in Greece and it was so amazing. And I came back to two packages from No Issue which are the tote bags that I designed last month, if you remember. In the last studio vlog, I, uh, I showed you how I was designing them and here they are. <laughs> and I also got the stamp as well. So I thought I will open these uh, with you. So let's open the bags first, because I'm so looking forward to see how they look like. Not wait. Mm, I see them already! So meet your no issue tote bag. <laughs> How cute! So let's see. Oh my goodness! Wow! <laughs> These are so cute! Can you see them? And this is on the other side, the print on the other side. Now I will show you better. Quite heavy because they are 50 bags so you probably remember the design and here they are this one it's actually pretty huge so and this is the back the print on the back as you can see there are honey paco paddle and mango and on the front there is also lettuce and there is the um, writing cute things inside and oh my god they look so amazing really so amazing also the quality is it's really beautiful they are um heavy i don't know how to say the the fabric is really heavy and the print is um it's amazing i hope you can you can see it from the from the camera so yes now we, i hope next week i will be able to take some pictures and um, make a mini uh, shop update with the uh, with the bags so they will be not so many in the shop so <laughs> if you want to grab one um, this is the time i will check my links in the description box and yes i think in the next days you will see me organizing the shop and putting this online Now let's open the stamp. Here is the stamp. Let's open it. So I like the these postcards that no issue use all the time. And oh wow, look at this. So it is in two comes in two parts. So this is the how do you call it handle? And this is the stamp. Now we will try it together. And here it is. Let's try it. There is also the inking pads. I think you can ask for the red one, the blue one and the black one. So I picked the black. And this looks really nice. It's really amazing. So I'm going to try the stamp on my small boxes for now. And also on some envelopes, for example. <laughs> looks so amazing um, so this is the stamp that I've done and yes this is how the box looks like when you open it so the box is so small so I thought that when my customers can open their packages they will have um, a stamp saying happy mail and with my name and with uh, mango <laughs> being a post girl which is really adorable I think yes this is it thank you so much no issue <laughs> these are so so amazing now let's try also the envelopes as well quickly so let's do like so I think it looks cute <laughs> also on the white paper looks really really cute and it's nice because I can also think about purchasing another color, another ink mat, 
of another color just wash this i think that with some water the, the black all around will uh, go away the design is really clear and looks really really professional so it's like coming back in the studio and catching out with all the things that I have to do which it is uh, a lot for this end of the month in Berlin is officially autumn as you can see I'm wearing a long um, pullover and drinking hot tea which is also nice and, and cozy for me it's uh, it's fine <laughs> I had such a great time in Greece and enjoyed the sunny vacation so now it's fine to be back in the Berlin weather. I also love autumn so I'm really really happy and looking forward to this season. Yes, as I told you I have um, so many things to do. First of all I want to pack all the orders that I received while I was away which are more than 20 so i think i will spend all the morning um packing orders and then i will post like an inktober challenge of mine and it will be just four um, yes four prompts so it would be one illustration every week so that we don't get stressed and you don't have to draw every day if you don't want to so you can only do uh, one illustration every week and i think it's better for everyone and even for me so probably i can take part so i'm, I'm really looking forward i did it yesterday i can show it to you so this is the graphic and i've done it in four four colors you can share the color that you like today i'm going to post this on instagram and it's already late because i saw that many artists already uh, published uh, their their list uh, the beginning of September so I'm really really late I hope it's <laughs> it's fine for you and then I want to make a package for the tote bags and I need to take some pictures and I would like to put them in the shop on Friday and also I have to make some stuff for patreon as well so i need to record the podcast and then i want to order something for the for the paddle box so it will be um a physical rewards and uh, something really cute that i will show you i need to start thinking about the 2022 calendar as well because i would like to, to have it at least at the end of october so i need to start as soon as possible and i will need to draw as well for next month pattern rewards so it's it's really a lot to do so enough with the chit chatting i will uh, start with my day and i will see you later
So I'm thinking about the shooting for the tote bags, which makes me really nervous because it's a very big uh, object to, to photograph. Uh, so it could be a little tricky and I don't have like huge tables or equipment in order to photograph such an object. So I'm trying to be creative. So I think I will put the tote bags on um, wrapping paper. So uh, like as a background, so I have some pink wrapping paper and I now drew some uh, clouds and I want to cut them with the silhouette machine. So I'm trying to create some kind of pattern on the background with the little cloud and I'm looking forward to see how it looks like. So this is just to explain you uh, why the clouds. This is how it looks like on the floor next to the biggest window that I have. Looks cute. Now I will try to take some pictures and let's see if that works. So I'm trying on the table instead because I wasn't so happy for the version on the floor. This looks cute, so probably I will add, um, I don't know, little plants uh, on the background and some probably pencil like here on the bottom and let's see. So finally I have prepared the draft of the item on Etsy and these are the pictures that I've taken so far. Today I reshoot it, reshoot them, some of them, especially these ones, 
because I wasn't so happy with the other uh, but now like, I think they look cute also here you can see a detail and have a feeling of the fabric so I think a close-up is really important and then one like this and then the back so I'm overall uh, really happy this is also how it looks when it's uh, folded and packed with a little tag and so on it's a pity that I don't have one where I wear the bags but didn't have the time and the chance to go outside and shoot so for now I will uh, leave them like this and then let's see I always can add them uh, later I also uh, did um, a video but I don't know why I can't see it oh here is playing I made also a little video because now Etsy gives you the opportunity to add a video which is really important so I will definitely recommend you to uh, always insert a video if you have an Etsy shop so this is it I'm ready for tomorrow and shop wise and now I will prepare a post for Instagram the space where I keep many of my products it's just like a uh, book shelves uh, how do you call it a uh, book piece of furniture <laughs> that it's from Ikea and yes I just kept this part uh, which is closed is where I keep all my product for example here I have wash sheets and then these boxes are the pins I will show you yes here is where I keep all my pins and for example here I have more washes and here I have the um, the notepads the memo pads and uh, now I've made some more space for the bags so for now it works but you can tell that I need a studio I really need a studio this is just a piece of furniture that is in the corridor of my place so yes it's a struggle because <laughs> if I want to have more products I don't have the space and now I'm waiting for new washes to arrive and I wonder where should I put them <laughs> so I really hope the bags are going to sell fast <laughs> in this way I can earn more space for the new washes we will see Good morning, it's Friday the 25th, the 25th of September and today is launching day uh, for my uh, bags, so for the tote bags. I will be launching at noon, so I have four hours left. <laughs> looking at the clock what i need to do now is to just create a post for instagram and then i would like also to make a last minute newsletter so that i can share about the tote bags but also i would like to share about the um, pop stober so my drawing challenge for october and then yes i will sit down and relax and see how this lunch goes so let's go but before I start, yesterday I received the postcards for this month's Patreon rewards and I, want, I, I waited to open them with you, so now it's the time, I cannot wait. Let's open this. Oh my god. <laughs> They look so cute so this is this month it's just a part of the mango mail so there will be a postcard and two stickers two vinyl stickers for which i'm still waiting to arrive for now i have the uh, postcard which is really nice i also like the paper a lot i've chosen a better quality paper so it's really smooth and 
and really enjoyable on the hands. Here they are. <laughs> They look so cute. This month's theme was coffee shop, so that's why I've done this uh, Puddles coffee shop, which I think is really cute. <laughs> so yes, I'm in love. I really hope my patrons will love them. And I'm probably going to also around the corner to make them like, um, like a print. So my dear Popsies, this is it for this video. Thank you so much if you watched it until the end. As always, you can leave me some questions in the comments or just say hi. Remember that in the section down below you can find all my links to my Patreon, to my Domestica course, to my Instagram, to my Etsy shop, all the way that you can support me and um, know more about me, hear more about me. You can also subscribe to the newsletter if you like. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you uh, next month. Take care. Bye.